Now live now to Valley News Team's Anna Ball Weber for a check of how the polls are looking right now. Anna, how's it going? Yeah, Justin, Stacey, that's right. I'm here at the Fargo Dome where we have seen, I think, hundreds of people kind of coming in and out of these doors, getting ready to cast their vote for this general election right now. The last time you heard from me, it was around four o'clock. You can see behind me, this line was completely empty. It is starting to wrap around the building now. Just like Courtney said, I think people are kind of starting to get off work right now. And I'm assuming it's going to just ramp up even more within the next couple of hours. Now, I'm here at the Fargo Dome specifically. Just we're looking at that general election, but I'm also keeping an eye on that Fargo Dome special, excuse me, that vote that everyone is looking at right now. They had that special election back in December of last year, and that actually failed. So it's back on the ballot this year, and the fate of the Fargo Dome really just lies in the hands of the Fargo voters at this point. Now, we did talk to some election workers earlier. If you still haven't voted, they have some advice to give to you. By the time you get in and you get your receipt that says you're an eligible ID, it's probably 10, 15 minutes from there. Um, the lines are going to vary all day today, but um, once you're in, it's probably 10 minutes at most. Probably right now, I think it's about 10 to 15 minute wait right here. Later tonight on Valley News Live, I am hoping to speak with some Fargo Dome Authority Board members, kind of just how everything went leading up to this point and how they're feeling now that this race might be over. So you can stick with us throughout the night. We're going to have team coverage on this race as well as all the other races we're covering. But for now, reporting in Fargo, Anna Ballweber, Valley News Live.